went to a local hardware store and purchased a seven inch masonry blade to go into my existing seven and a quarter, 5,000 RPM circular saw. I also purchased a couple of chisels. One is a rock breaker and the other one is for more defined cuts. And I already had the heavy duty metal hammer. And then I went to our local rock and landscape center and purchased on average this size, maybe a little smaller, maybe a little larger, red and black lava rocks that I'm going to cut down into pieces for a veneer. What's important is the density. If they're too heavy and too dense, it's actually rather hard to cut and break them down. But if they're too porous, they tend to shatter. So somewhere in the middle, plus when you have a variety of textures inside the rock, it really gives it more visual interest. So we're gonna be doing drop cuts. I refer to my owner's operation manual for that. Um, we're gonna pull back the safety guard to be able to do the drop cut, so I'm being very careful. And then also I've adjusted the blade so that it's at its maximum depth. Okay, I'm using cinder blocks to hold my rocks tightly in place so that nothing wiggles while I'm doing my cuts. Here we go. Big breath in, big breath out. <laughs> Smashy, smashy. Say it again. Smashy, smashy. What's that entail, Jenny? Make sure your toes are out of the way. Are and those regu out of the way? Are those regulation flip flops? Yeah, regulation work boot flip flops and pajama pants. Insert your chisel. Get a couple going. And let's see how this goes. Pretty nice piece. How flat is it on one side? Hey, flat. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had any issues um, adhering it to the wall using a really good VersaBond mortar. So, yeah, everything's been going pretty well. Hi. So, there were a couple instances where the surface wasn't exactly flat. I don't know if you can see that. And there were some remnants that didn't cut super clean that would be problematic when trying to adhere to a flat wall. There can be some variation, but this is a little bit too much, and that's where this lovely tool comes in. So luckily I have a nice groove here. So I just kind of insert this in. And be gentle because if I found that if you go too hard and too aggressive on these cuts, you'll, you can actually crack the whole rock, which is fine, still usable, but not ideal. I want to keep as much of this uh, rock intact as I can. So just enough to kind of get it flat enough. For my purposes, this is totally fine. What's nice about the lava rock, it's very forgiving. A professional video vlogger. Yeah. What kind of mortar are you using? I'm using VersaBond mortar. I did try to use a less expensive um, S 
mortar, but it didn't have the adhesion for vertical application, so I had to kick it up a notch and use like a $16 bag of VersaBond. But so far it's been really great, and again, the rock is fairly lightweight, so it, it kind of sticks on very well, as long as your mortar mix isn't too wet.